I hate money, which I know that sounds like a weird thing to kind of start up a whole video for, but I just going to keep it a stack with you. I went through a depressive episode today because for some reason I just felt like my life wasn't really meaning anything today. So that's just kind of how it is. I haven't gone through a depressive episode since high school, so I was not looking forward to this, but that just kind of what happened, honestly. Just started thinking about how things kind of are and how things just haven't been good to me and literally just overall life in general and it's just like i don't know i just didn't necessarily feel like making anything today for real which is probably why it's either a black screen or a kakatsu picture at random i don't know but the point is it's just the fact that this whole situation that i've been for like the longest of time has just been an aggressive and egregious annoyance just throughout time honestly and it's making me wonder if there even is a point to me continuing on or journeying on in a way i know that there is a point i know there's a goal i want to get to but with how things kind of go sometimes it just makes me go to that damn place where i don't want to necessarily think about too much and unfortunately i have to go to that place today well my mind made me go to that place not really want to go there but it is what it is but yeah um obviously you know the money situation mortgage uh, this, which is now taken down to seventy thousand dollars you know when it comes down to it that has to be owed on the mortgage but still do i got seventy thousand bitch i wish i wish i had more than that but you know it just it's just an annoying situation and i hate every inch of this shit honestly the fact that honestly if really what really is getting me i guess right now is just the fact that because i'm so in the ear in constant like zone of hearing of hearing somebody talking about how much money that we need for this object for this thing for that thing to get to this thing and all these things are just like things that we need and i understand why we need them but when it comes down to it it's like we can't even do a lot of things that a lot of normal people can do and it just is a, just it's just like it just feels like a strained and choke holding ass like thing that's going on for me personally and with all this about money i hate the concept of it even more so than i did previously and it just like i just want to focus on creating content i just want to focus on drawing stuff again i just want to focus on writing story related stuff but i can't honestly and it just makes me hella irritated and puts me in this type of place and can't really focus on anything because of this bullshit stressing ass thing then i have to think about how next month we're probably not going to have food stamps because you know that's going to get cut off so that's not great and it's just a whole nuisance of a thing and then there's also the job hunting which that hasn't really gone as well as i hoped it would because literally everything is either we break your back or it's something that you're probably not qualified for and it's just not good it's it just really not right it, again i'm not a, like a lazy person or anything like that but it's just like i don't want to necessarily do one i don't want to necessarily do something that's gonna like okay kill me first of all my dad has done that for years that's why he's kind of in the position that he's in unfortunately and you know two and the worst part about him is that he basically does jobs for little to nothing which is unfortunate two it's like you know i don't want to necessarily just do so now i'm gonna quit for like literally a month or even less than that so i don't want to necessarily just do that and then number three when it comes down to it it's just the fact that i just really want to do the things that i you know think would work you know like this channel essentially like i really want this channel to get somewhere which is why i've been trying hard as i can and you know going ham and certain ideas and all that type of stuff it just hasn't shown any results and i know somebody out there would say but you got two thousand people watching you that's a feat that honestly not a lot of people can even get to and you're right but then I see people like I believe I think 
Natalie X Hunter, and I see people like Otaku Daikun, and I see people like plenty of other content creators, even smaller creators that is just like 2,000 or maybe 5,000 subscribers ahead of me, and then it, you know, it feels like there should be more here to this story, yet for whatever reason, it's not, honestly. And it, it just doesn't make sense. I had a Honestly, whether I don't know if you believe it or not, but I had a vision a long time ago where I was actually in my own home and I actually had, you know, a bed and my working computer was really right in front of me. And I just went into the computer and started working on videos without the stress of money, without the stress of any type of worry about life and where I'm going and all that sort of stuff. And for once, I felt at peace and I want to get to that. And I don't know exactly how do I get to that? And that's like the biggest thing. And then it made me contemplate if, if for some crazy reason, that for whatever reason, that if the Lord for once said, you know what, I'm lifting up the veil of all the nonsense that has hit you literally for all your life and actually give you something that you wanted. If he did that for one moment, honestly, for me, I, w I was thinking, like, what would I even do with all the actual free time and money, honestly, outside of content creation and stuff like that? Because recently, I've been watching, like, a lot of Mr. Who's the Boss. Maybe you heard that channel, who is, like, a huge tech review person and all sorts of stuff like that, who was really good, honestly. But when it comes down to it, he made a few videos where he did, like, you know, which iPhone gets you, like, how can you repair your iPhone faster? You know, which store would, you know, which way in store would you do that for? And, you know, which phone can deal the most damage and get, you know, uh, basically unscathed when it comes down to it and all that sort of stuff. And I can't tell you how freaking poor I felt watching it because this man just basically just, you know, here's a phone. I destroyed that phone. Here's a replacement phone that costs the same amount of dollars that's not cheap or probably a little bit higher and then we're going to do some other crazy stuff with it. I'm like, the fact that you have money to replace a phone like that and then just be like, F it, here's another one, the exact copy and it's just like, how? I can't even, I can't even process spending that type of money much less destroying something expensive like that and then at the same time being like, I got another one. That's like if the phone I have that we was able to get right now, I end up being like, yeah, you know what? Here we go. Use a hammer. Destroy this phone. Here's another copy of that $150 phone. I don't, I, I can't understand. I can't process that. I can't process that. Right? Now, I would never be as reckless to do some shit like that. I'm going to keep it a sack with you. Even if it's for content. Couldn't do it. I just don't have that mindset to. But... It just shows me that, damn, there is a level out there that I would like to reach. Not to destroy phones, obviously, but to reach where I can just buy whatever I like or go wherever I like. Not necessarily trip about 10,000 things. Would actually like to get a passport and go some places, honestly, like for a week or so. And then, you know, actually have a new experience you know, things of that nature. And I get it. The economy is not great. Everybody is basically in the same position as me and not necessarily in the best position. I know a lot of you guys go through your own struggles of money, even worse than mine. But at the same time, that shit is just, it's just bad, man. This shit is just bad. And by really, even with the months and years that's come and gone, to be honest, this has been the most egregious problem out of literally everything and it seems like no matter what happens for whatever reason we always get put into the worst position and then even when i look at trying to you know maybe work a job or something like that in my mind i'm not working a job so i can get somewhere i'm working a job so i can basically you know help the family and that's essentially it and at that point it's like what am i doing here because when i really think about it it's like I'm not doing this for me so I can learn and progress. I'm just working for someone else again. And I really don't want that. Which made me think maybe I just need a manager or somebody to come through to teach me how the YouTube game is played in some way. So we can get somewhere. But I don't know even where to begin. I don't even have a, a single solid connection to anybody. And, you know, the fact 
that we probably the thing is I don't necessarily know how to get out there or anything like that. I know there's people I know there's some of you guys that like to share the you know video and channel around which I appreciate greatly. Honestly, sharing and you know and subscribing to the channel is it means a lot more than you actually really do think. I know you get tired of hearing people say, subscribe to the channel, like the video. But to be perfectly honest, it, especially on a lower level, it helps out tremendously, which is why I hope that, you know, you hit that button and you share that account around. Even if it gets into annoying people's hands, like answers, still, it's still getting around and you might get some subscribers off of that even though I don't want no damn answers around here, but you never really know. I mean, hell, that kind of happened when the same answers was like shitting on me on Reddit, and then guess what? They basically were just helping more people to come find me. So overall, it just, it, it, again, sharing and subscribing around stuff helps out a lot, and it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. And you just really don't understand how much that helps and how great that is to see when it comes down to it so overall i don't really know what my bitch ass is complaining about i don't know why i'm making this video or whining or whatever i don't know but i'm just basically tired of the entire situation to the point where it put me in that again depressive episode and i just didn't want to necessarily live any longer or do anything and i know that's just not how that should be be right like there's no damn way i should be stuck in this position where i can actually you know maybe have something happen only for nothing to happen at all right there's no way that i was able i'm able to learn how to draw and actually be pretty decent at it know how to write and craft stories know how to make content and do video editing much less know how to or at least trying to learn a new language of japanese honestly and ends up not being super ashi at the end of it not being you know at my destination where i should be because for me i've always held like a high standard to myself honestly which is why i don't necessarily want to just up and do everything because times are tough as well i've always had that standard about myself just being like yeah, this could help for a little while, but I want something that's going to, you know, be the thing that helps out forever and essentially just be around for a long time, right? And that's kind of like also another word I have about job hunting as well, too, because it's just like, yeah, I work this job and it's not paying well, but then it's like, how long do I stay there? Like, is it like a year? Do I stay there for a few months? In 10 years? Am I going to be stuck here forever? And that's what gets in my brain and what worries the hell out of me a lot of the damn time, honestly. And why I've been so desperate to have this channel to work and do what it needs to do. And then another part to this, too, that really suck is that even though I'm feeling all this stress and all this stuff that's happening, I can't even, like, tell anybody, especially IRL, because people like to give me an answer to why this is happening and what type of answer that you know that they think should go down when it comes down to it and at the end of the day i don't want to hear the answer i just want to vent and basically say what's on my mind without anybody saying anything back honestly which is why a lot of times or times when it's necessary i make these type of videos because i don't have anybody to really talk to and just vent out literally all my frustrations because boy there's been times i wanted to scream today but i just just try to keep keep it in but you know it's not necessarily good to but still that's just kind of how it is for me but i just don't have that opportunity to do so but overall again that's this whole video i ain't trying to go too long but overall money is some bitch ass bullshit and I really hate it. Like, I want to beat this... I want to beat up the concept of money. Like, I want to beat up Johnny Somalia, right? Or have, you know, the nonsense that going on with that man. Because that man is still on some nonsense. It still is. I think he's just premiered something strange. Like a demon ritual in a forest somewhere. I don't know. He's still doing dumb shit. Even though he literally got his ass handed to him in Israel. But it is what it is. But when it comes down to it, though. Again, I hate this whole situation i just want i just want connections 
and to be able to do the things that I want to do and have fun with it and actually, you know, prosper for 10 seconds of my life and basically not be in this position anymore because it's it, because it literally feels like a do or die type of thing at this moment and I just don't know how to go about this at all. So, yeah, stressed, depressed, and literally everything else. You know, even even I can have bad days as, you know, maybe new people don't know. But yeah, even this can happen to me because this shit just honestly really sucks. And if you do listen to all this and if you actually do make it to the end of this video, I appreciate you for at least listening and, you know, caring because that that's more than what a lot of people do, you know, around me because... I don't get that treatment like at, at all. So I appreciate that. But yeah, that's essentially what I really wanted to say, I guess. Um, it, it just, I, I guess another thing that just annoys me too is that I'm 23 and I still haven't done anything with my life. Right. And it just, it just bothered me in a lot of different ways. Right. I just want to get back to drawing. I just want to get back to making stuff without and being creative without like stressed out. That's really all I want. But yeah, that's essentially all I really want to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and like, share on your way out. Also, follow me on socials, Twitter, Blue Sky. And, and if you'd like to donate to the channel, if you'd like to help out in any way, if you can, Ko-Fi or Cash App if you want to. And until then, it's Boy J, signing off. Have a blessed day.